Okay, so this video is going to show you how to turn uh, your hard drive into an external hard drive. Um, so this is a laptop hard drive. Uh, it's about 2.5 inches. That's the form factor. Um, it's a hard drive that uses uh, the slots and not the pins. Uh, commonly referred to as uh, SATA, S-A-T-A. -A, not the, the older versions which have pins. Make sure you have uh, some, some sort of enclosure. You can get them pretty cheap on eBay um, so that you can turn your hard drive into something functional and something durable. The first thing you'll need is your hard drive. Um, make sure you decide which hard drive you want to use. Uh, there are two types of hard drives when it comes to laptops. Um, newer models tend to use something called SATA, which uses the slits or the slots. Some people call them fins. Um, the older versions use pins. The second thing you'll need is a hard drive enclosure or kit. Um, it comes with the case. It comes with uh, the screws, um, screwdriver, and just this little uh, um, adapter as I call it attaches to the hard drive. Um, this kit was relatively cheap. It was like about three or four dollars. Um, got it on eBay. This is the adapter that attaches to the hard drive. Um, you'll want to look at it and see how it lines up. Um, so the way I'm holding it now was wrong. Just ha I'd have to flip it so that it lines up with the uh, slots on the actual hard drive itself. Um, so there, that's what it looks like from uh, that view. Um, that's going to be connecting to the hard drive here. So connecting the adapter to the hard drive is pretty easy. As long as it's lined up. It uh, typically goes in without any resistance, so it's lined up and it just pops right in there. So that's that's all it requires, and uh, the adapter is now on the hard drive. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna put this hard drive with the adapter attached to it um, into the enclosure itself. Um, that can be a little tricky based on what model you have, uh, where you got your enclosure from, how it's designed. Um, but this particular model is, they made it pretty easy for us. Um, it was like a metallic outline, kind of border, that kind of comes out. Um, that makes it pretty easy because now we just have to deal with this and the hard drive instead of the rest of the enclosure. So, lining up is pretty easy. Uh, you look for, you know, indicators. Um, in this case, there's uh, a hole for the USB and there's a hole for the green LED light and uh, you can see the USB and the green LED in the hard drive um, so lining it up is, is merely a matter of just turning the hard drive to the right location until it fits try not to force it sometimes it can be a little tricky line you can see that the LED light and the uh, USB fit fine uh, not forced in and be careful because uh, you don't want to crack the case and of course the only part left are the actual uh, sides of the enclosure itself the metal metal uh, aluminum kind of parts so lining those up are pretty simple um, you can pretty much instantly tell which way is white right which way is wrong uh, this is obviously wrong because you can see the slots here don't line up uh, in this area so I'm going to do one of two things just turn this around and line it up and it should fit pretty well and uh, it'll go right in there, it just snaps, snaps in pretty easily so once the other side is attached you have a uh, hard drive enclosed in your enclosure uh, it's pretty sturdy, pretty durable. But it's still not perfectly secure yet. So in order to do that, you'll have to screw in the screws to these little holes here, made for the screws that came with the this. The screws you got earlier, which, uh, they're pretty small. So be careful that you don't lose them. They give you more than eight, I'm sure. Um, so you just take these screws, the screwdriver provided, and then just screw in the eight screws. And the screws should go in pretty easily. Make sure you don't force them because they can be stripped pretty easily. They're very small. 
um, they're actually very very small so just be careful um, when the screws are in properly it should be uh, pretty uh, pretty flush so you know it's in all the way so let's uh, plug it in and see how it works so this is the, it came with this cord it's plugged in the uh, USB part to the port now we'll plug it into the computer I'll notice that the uh, the green light will light up it means that it's accessing the data it's accessing the hard drive and uh, the uh, window pops up the local disk G that's the name of the drive before uh, I pulled it from uh, my laptop and uh, you can now just use it like a, a regular external hard drive go way to build yourself your own external hard drive and uh, Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.